Why is understanding CVSS, CVE, and NVD crucial in the cybersecurity world? Well, let's start with CVSS, or Common Vulnerability Scoring System. It's a universally recognized standard used for assessing the severity of computer system security vulnerabilities. It provides an open framework for communicating the characteristics and impacts of IT vulnerabilities. Next, let's talk about CVE, which stands for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures. It's a dictionary of publicly known cybersecurity vulnerabilities. Think of it as a reference point for information security vulnerabilities that provides a common identifier for publicly known issues. Lastly, we have the NVD or National Vulnerability Database, an extension of the CVE system. It's a comprehensive cybersecurity vulnerability database that provides additional analysis, a scoring system, and a database that captures the vulnerabilities cataloged by the CVE. Understanding these terminologies is key to identifying, scoring, and managing cybersecurity vulnerabilities. Now that we know what CVSS, CVE, and NVD are, let's delve into the differences. How do CVSS, CVE, and NVD differ from one another? Let's delve into this intriguing question. The Common Vulnerability Scoring System, or CVSS, is an open framework for communicating the characteristics and impacts of IT vulnerabilities. Think of it as a way to grade the severity of a vulnerability. CVSS scores are calculated based on three metrics, base score metrics, temporal score metrics, and environmental score metrics. The base score represents the intrinsic qualities of a vulnerability, while temporal score metrics reflect the current state of the vulnerability, and environmental score metrics take into account the specific user environment. On the other hand, the Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, or CVE, is not a scoring system but a list of entries. Each entry, known as a CVE identifier, represents a known cybersecurity vulnerability. It's the universal standard for identifying vulnerabilities and exposing their potential impacts. The CVE doesn't assign severity scores, but it does provide a brief description of the vulnerability. Now let's talk about the National Vulnerability Database, or NVD. The NVD is a comprehensive database that includes all CVE vulnerability entries. Each vulnerability listed in the NVD is assigned a unique CVE identifier, but the NVD goes a step further than just listing vulnerabilities. It includes additional information like checklists, impact metrics, and even fix information. And yes, the NVD also provides CVSS scores for each vulnerability. So in essence, CVSS is the grading system, CVE is the roll call of vulnerabilities, and the NVD is the comprehensive library that includes both the list of vulnerabilities and their CVSS scores. These three elements, though different in their functions, work together to provide a comprehensive understanding of the cybersecurity landscape. They help us identify, evaluate, and tackle vulnerabilities in our systems. Understanding these differences allows us to appreciate the role each plays in the realm of cybersecurity. So, what are the key points to remember about CVSS, CVE, and NVD? Firstly, let's start with CVSS, the Common Vulnerability Scoring System. It's a crucial tool that helps us determine the severity of a vulnerability. By using a set of metrics, CVSS scores vulnerabilities on a scale from 0 to 10, with 10 indicating the highest level of severity. These metrics are divided into three groups, base score metrics, temporal score metrics, and environmental score metrics. Each group evaluates a different aspect of a vulnerability, like its potential impact and how difficult it is to exploit. Now on to CVE, which stands for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures. CVE is like a detective in our cybersecurity story. It aids in identifying and cataloging vulnerabilities in a standardized way. Each vulnerability that qualifies for a CVE is given a unique identifier, making it easier for cybersecurity professionals to share information about the vulnerability. The most common types of CVEs usually involve issues like buffer overflows, input validation errors, and cross-site scripting. The National Vulnerability Database, or NVD, is our comprehensive library for vulnerability management. It's like a treasure trove of information about vulnerabilities, including their corresponding CVE identifiers and CVSS scores. It's a valuable resource for anyone involved in cybersecurity. Now, when a CVE is identified, it's important to patch it. Patching is the process of fixing the vulnerability to prevent it from being exploited. It's like applying a bandage to a wound, but in this case, the wound is a cybersecurity vulnerability. While all these tools are invaluable in the world of cybersecurity, they do have their limitations. For instance, CVSS scores only reflect the technical aspects of vulnerabilities and may not account for the actual risk in a specific environment. 
Similarly, the CVE system can only catalog known vulnerabilities, and it's up to organizations to ensure they are patched. While CVSS, CVE, and NVD are essential tools in cybersecurity, they do have certain limitations. However, their benefits far outweigh these limitations, making them indispensable in the world of cybersecurity.